Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today I am here at Drayton Manor to come and ride their brand new roller coaster, Gold Rush, an Intamin lift and launch coaster that opened a few days ago. I can't wait to get on it. So before I go on here, I will be honest, I was here yesterday and I got three rides on it. So this is gonna be my fourth ride on it. However, I'm gonna join the queue, get on the ride, and then I'm gonna to talk to you guys all about my opinions of this brand new ride. I'm also gonna get on the wave today, get more rides on there, hopefully. I also plan on doing the water rides today. It's absolutely boiling here today so the rapids I've never done before because it's always been closed or uh, the weather's not been good enough and Storm Force 10 same problem apart from last time I was here when it was really hot uh, it had a massive queue so I didn't go on it so hopefully today's the day where I experience it for the first time the amount of times I've been here straight to Manor and I've never been on it hopefully today that is going to change but here we go there's a bit of a pre-queue building currently for Gold Rush so I'm going to join that and then hopefully it won't be too long until I get on it so here's a look at the entrance there for Gold Rush that looks fantastic. You've of course got the minecart up there, the massive sign, and here's a look at the front of it. It's so nice to see this without those massive construction walls here. Last time I was here, the name for this ride hadn't even been announced. So yeah, this ride actually operates with two different cycles. This is one of the only roller coasters in the world to have multiple different settings, which makes it really unique. Of course you never know which cycle you're going to get until you're on the ride it adds to the excitement you don't know which cycle you're going to get here we go and it looks fantastic as well i can't wait to walk around this queue line again and show you guys all the theming and get some off-ride footage the shots you can get of this ride in the queue line are absolutely fantastic the rides are open now it seems like this one still needs to do some testing i have seen it go around once but it looks like we've got a bit of a delayed start with this one which is understandable, it's a new roller coaster, so it's gonna have some problems. Here we go, we're going in. This is a fantastic area to view the coaster. Some fantastic theming around here. A lot of this queue is undercover as well. Here we go. Here we go, so this is one of my favorite theming pieces. Yeah, there we go, they're getting cycle one. I don't know how this actually operates because apparently it was supposed to be cycle one in the mornings and cycle two in the afternoons. But yesterday I was here for the final couple hours of the day and I got both cycles. So it seems like at the moment they're running it randomly, maybe because the ride's brand new and they're gonna change the way they operate it once kind of the opening hype dies down. I guess we'll find out. around here it's really well done in here let's go for a ride So 
So I just had a ride on Gold Rush. From what it looks like, they're only operating it on cycle one at the moment. So maybe how they're doing it with operating it on cycle one for the first half of the day and cycle two on the second half of the day. Maybe that is what they're doing today. Who knows? I'll come back here later and see if they're operating it on cycle two. Uh, but yeah, that was my fourth ride in it. I had three rides yesterday. Two of them were cycle two. One was cycle one. And then, of course, I had the one on cycle one just now. So I've had two on each cycle. And that is a fantastic addition here to Drayton Manor. Very smooth. It's a long ride. You've got around two minutes of ride time on there. Of course, you go forwards, backwards. And when they are operating it randomly, you have no idea which way you are going to go which really adds to the excitement of it the elements on there are fantastic it builds up some good speed going around there the launch is quite punchy on there as well really really enjoyable you get some good views from up there the theming is absolutely fantastic and it's actually a bit more intense than I was expecting it to be as well overall it's a fantastic ride it's sad that it uh, meant that Apocalypse had to go. However, this is a fantastic addition here to Drayton Manor. Exactly what the park needed, a new roller coaster, and that's finally what they've got. I'm really, really impressed with it. So here we go, let's have a bit of a chat about the two different cycles on Gold Rush. So at the moment, you can see they're operating it on cycle one, where it goes up the lift hill and it just goes straight over and then goes through this part of the layout forwards. You then go through this part of the layout forwards and you go into the indoor scene here it goes so eventually it's going to go into a building over there the dynamite storage building you're then going to launch backwards uh, there's a, a turntable or a switch track even and then you're going to come across this section of track just here which you'll see in a minute Here it comes. And then as you can see, it goes back up the lift hill backwards. It then gets to the top of the lift hill. It drops down forwards. You go back through that section that you just went through backwards. You launch through the indoor scene. There it goes. So you launch through the indoor scene and then you come through this section of track here which we'll see in a second. Here it comes. And into the brakes there. With cycle two, you go up the lift hill forwards, it then stops at the top, it drops you down the lift hill backwards and you go around that section of track over there, backwards, you then go into the indoor scene where it launches you forwards back around that section of track that you just did backwards up the lift hill and then you carry on going over the lift hill to do the rest of this layout forwards you then go straight through the indoor scene again and through this section of track into the brakes so yeah you are getting two different rides in one coaster which makes this really unique so here we go i'm gonna go on the river rapids here now i've never been on this before i queued up for this last summer when I was here and then it closed down so I didn't get on it so hopefully today I'm not going to get spited by it it's perfect weather for it so let's go for a ride So I've just had a ride on the River Rapids. It's a pretty good rapid stack. Well themed, decent length to it. Uh, I don't think a lot of the effects work. I've heard a lot about different effects on there. I only saw a couple on there, so I feel like a few of them might not have been working. But it was a good ride. I didn't get very wet on it. Literally a couple of drops came over the side of the boat, which had dried up by the end of the ride. So yeah, not, not the best uh, ride for cooling down on there. However, it's well themed. I did enjoy it. I, I wanna go for a ride on the wave. However, it's got a big queue. And from what it looks like, they're taking a while to dispatch the train. Of course, it's only got one train as well, so it doesn't have the best throughput. It's got a big queue. At the moment, it looks like it could be about an hour, and I'm not willing to wait that long for it. So hopefully, it'll quieten down later on during the day. However, I am going to go for a ride on Storm Force 10. I've never been on here before. Apparently, it's an absolute soaker. I'm really looking forward to getting on this and seeing what it's like. 
Uh, and yeah, perfect weather for it as well. I didn't uh, get wet, get very wet on the river rapids. I think this is going to be a different story. So I've just had a ride on Stormforce 10 and uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit wet as you can see. That is an absolute soaker, but what a ride it was. It was so funny on there watching people's reactions. It wasn't even the big drop at the end that got you that wet. It was that backwards drop. So of course you have to drop out of the station, then you have a backwards drop and then the big drop at the end. It was that backwards one that got you a massive wave just came over the entire boat. It was absolutely crazy. It's well themed, the queue line looks really good, the station's really good. It's a fantastic ride, really, really enjoyed it. So the queue for the wave looks like it's died down a bit. It currently is testing, so it must have had some kind of technical issue. The fact it's testing does make me think it's hopefully gonna be reopening soon. So I'm gonna get in the queue and hopefully get a ride on it. So I just had a ride on the wave. I waited about 40 minutes, I'd say, uh, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was a lot better that time than when I was here last time. Last time I was here, I got absolutely stapled on there, so it was really uncomfortable. This time, they weren't pushing down on the restraints as hard, which was fantastic. Unfortunately, though, the restraint does come down during the ride. It started off relatively loose, which was very nice. Then we went through the loop and the zero G roll, which was fantastic. And after that zero G roll, the restraint really started pushing down. By the time we got into the brake run, it was so uncomfortable, really pushing down. It was really pushing down on my legs. Not very comfortable at all, but it is a nice smooth ride. Uh, there's no head banging like there was in Shockwave. Uh, yeah, it, I just don't really like the restraints on there. So I just had a ride on Maelstrom. I was gonna go for a second ride, however, it broke down. We literally started swinging for the second ride and then it stopped. So they brought us back down and then we sat there for a few minutes and then they got the restraints up and now it's broken down. So yeah, I didn't get the second ride, but I did get one ride on there, which was fantastic. It's still my favorite ride here, very intense. And it's lovely on a hot day as well when you're swinging and getting that nice breeze. It's such a fantastic ride really really enjoyed it so the plan is now i'm going to go for a ride on the haunting you never know how long the haunting is going to stick around for it's currently right in the middle of frontier falls and it doesn't really fit in with the area i do worry that this ride is going to have a re-theme at some point i don't think it's going to be the same experience that it is at the moment for much longer so let's make the most of it while it's still here so I just had a ride on The Haunting. I do really enjoy that attraction, really, really good. Of course, you've got a couple of different pre-shows in there to tell you the story, and then you get onto the madhouse itself. I do really like that ride. Uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I don't know how long it's gonna stick around for. It doesn't really fit in with Frontier Falls, so I can see it having a re-theme at some point in the near future. So yeah, it's best to make the most of it while it is still here. So I'm gonna go for another ride on Gold Rush now. Let's see what cycle it's running. Is it still gonna be running cycle one? Is it gonna have started to run cycle two? Or are they doing it randomly? Let's find out. When loaded, we do ask that the smallest rider is on the right-hand side of the train. That's the smallest rider on the right-hand side of the train for us, thank you.
there we go. I just had another ride on Gold Rush, and yeah, they're only running cycle two at the moment, so it seems like it is cycle one in the mornings, cycle two in the evenings. Maybe just because uh, they were doing it randomly yesterday because it was opening weekend, and maybe that's uh, how they're doing it now. It's not opening weekend anymore. I don't know, but it was running fantastically. It's a great ride. It's my second favorite ride here at Drayton Manor. Maelstrom is still my favorite, of course, and then uh, Gold Rush is my second favorite it's easily the best roller coaster here though there is no other competition it's a fantastic addition to this park exactly what the park needed really really enjoyable ride that has some fantastic theming as well uh, it's come to the end of the day now it's been a great day got on lots of rides of course the haunting two rides on gold rush i did two rides on it yesterday the wave was a lot better today as well even if, though the restraints are still pretty uncomfortable uh, but yeah i got on lots of rides maelstrom as well it's been a really good day perfect weather for it as well storm force 10 was fantastic as well i really enjoyed getting on that for the first time uh, but there we go that is now the end of this vlog here thank you very much for watching make sure to follow me on instagram at george kelly and follow me on twitter at george kelly thank you very much for watching stay safe everyone and i'll see you all later bye